Inside the Diaspora with Fatima. I'm your host, Fatima Sisse. Today, we're talking about my favorite subject, food and eating. Yes, if you know me, you know I love to eat. <laughs> Our special guest today is Akim Akinsanya, the CEO of Panla, a full-service catering and events company which specializes in contemporary international cuisine. And he will give us the ins and outs of the upcoming African Restaurant Week. There's also the vowel feed and so much more. Today's street trivia focuses on food and cuisine in the diaspora. Let's take a look. Can you name two African dishes? <laughs> two prominent African dishes. Fufu and... Oh, dang. I'm gonna say for West Africa, like jollof rice, because that's like the more popular one. That's one of them. Yeah. Then, uh -huh. Like my country, the African uh -huh. for my country, the Chebjan is like uh, rice and fish with vegetable. Okay. Yeah. West African? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna have to start going to restaurants. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn these names. But no, no. Uh, fufu ah. and um, cassava. Is that cassava? Fufu. Uh huh. You sure it's African, right? Because it yeah. sounds Japanese. No, no. <laughs> it's African. So I think I forget the other one. It's that with a G. Um, oh, I can't remember the other one. One of the answers is actually jollof rice. Mm -hmm. The second one is fufu. fufu. You know fufu? Yeah. It's actually fufu. Uh -huh. Yes. And. Jollof rice. Have you oh, ever heard of jollof rice? rice? Yes, I've had jollof rice. Was it jollof rice? Yeah, jollof rice. Yeah. yeah. But what country do you think Fufu is from? Uh, Ghana? Yes! <laughs> it's Fufu from Nigeria because that was the, the first person who cooked it for me was a Nigerian. Um, I'll get back to okay. you. What about the other one? Wallof rice. It's based on the ethnicity of a group. I forgot which country the. Is it Senegal? For what? Jollof? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Do we win Fufu? anything? <laughs> <laughs> that one I smell is from Ghana. Ghana? Which one is from Ghana? Um, Fufu. Uh, Fufu is from Mali. Right? No. Cote d'Ivoire. No. <laughs> no. Ghana. Ga Wow. Fufu is from Ghana. Wow. And what about jollof rice? Jollof rice? Uh huh. Right, you gonna have me guessing here for days. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's terrible. You're gonna have to educate me. You're gonna have to educate me. We were looking for was actually jollof rice, like you said, and yeah. fufu. Oh, uh, we don't eat fufu in Senegal, so it, I don't really think of it often, honestly. I just, I don't. Welcome back. As mentioned, today we are talking about food and African cuisine in the diaspora. Africa is the second largest landmass on Earth. It is home to hundreds of different cultural and ethnical groups, and as a result, there are many local culinary traditions in terms of choice of ingredients, style of preparation, and cooking techniques. The people who have emigrated abroad along with their culinary traditions, which flourishes throughout New York City with restaurants and festivals. Last week, I was able to catch up with the panel team and some guests at their Pre-Taste of Africa event at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture out in Harlem. Here are the highlights. New Yorkers came to celebrate the upcoming African Restaurant Week, but it turned out to be a full-fledged party. Enjoy.
Welcome back, viewers. I'm sitting here with Nigerian native Akim Akinsanya, CEO and founder of Panlas, a Taste of Africa event series and New York African Restaurant Week. In collaboration with other organizations and sponsors, he and his team have successfully hosted numerous events across New York City, attracting hundreds. Welcome to the show, Akim. Thanks for having me, Fatima. You're welcome. So please tell me, how did Panla come into fruition? Well, Panla was uh, initially an online African supermarket. Uh, that, that was the original intention. Uh, but as we grew, we understood that we could actually, you know, create events around our food and help build the brand. So the events kind of took a life of their own, actually. Does the company train people how to cook? No, we, well, we want, <laughs> we want to get there eventually, but we're not there yet. Um, one of the things we want to have, we want to have seminars around food and definitely do a lot of cooking classes. We've developed a lot of relationships with restaurants and uh, various chefs across the city. So, And um, that will be part of us helping make uh, the food more popular here. So, yeah. Speaking of which, what type of dishes do you guys prepare? Everything and anything, you know, uh, I'm, for me, I'm quite simple. I, if you give me my beans and plantain, I'm pretty much good. But we prepare everything from agusi, jollof rice. Uh, you know, we have chefs from different parts of, the, of Africa that are going to be at some of these, that, that are usually at some of these events. So you can find your injera, you can find your couscous, you can find your bunny chow, you can find agusi, you can find... Uh, Pretty much food from all parts of Africa when we do this event. So. Okay, so you carry fufu? Of course we do. <laughs> okay, good. So I will be at African Restaurant okay, Week. Okay, okay, okay. Speaking of which, African Restaurant Week is coming up next week, I Absolutely. understand. So Absolutely. please tell me about that. Well, it's going to be a week long of festivities. Um, I can tell you all the restaurant owners, the chefs, they're excited. They want you to come into their restaurant and, and experience the African hospitality. So. We're going to ask everybody, your organization, your friends, go out there and, you know, plan an evening out with your friends. Go, go experience the food, go experience the love, go and, go and feel. It's going to be a different experience than what you usually have. So it's, I'll say, a lot of these, uh, they, they're offering a lot of deals for you to come. So definitely go take advantage of these deals, you know, they're waiting for you. So you usually won't get those kind of deals during the year. So go out there. Food that you should have for like forty, forty-five dollars, you're gonna get it for twenty-eight ninety-five. Wow. So it's 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 great. So definitely go take advantage. I would definitely do that. <laughs> what are some of the restaurants that are gonna be um, participating? We have uh, Madiba, Buka, Ponte Bistro, Jollof Restaurant, mm. uh, La Kai, okay, um, Lennox uh, Safari. Usually used to be called Les Ambassade. Oh. Um, Farafina. You know, they've been really great to us, Farafina. I want to say thanks to Leila and our group over there. Also want to say thanks to Lukman at Buka. I want to say thanks to uh, Mark at Madiba. Okay. I mean, th we've had great relationships with these people, and it's, it's excellent what these restaurants are doing for the cuisine here and the culture here in New York City. So I just want to say thanks to them. So a lot of African people, well people from African homes, they rarely go out to eat. How is that affecting the food industry? Well, I don't know. I, I think the restaurant owners could use more traffic, definitely. Okay. The food is great, you know, and uh, the more support, you know. But, so that's why we're creating this week, you know, essentially to encourage people to go out and take advantage of all those deals. So come out with your family, come out with everybody, you know, your friends, your colleagues. Mm -hmm. And if you're African, the only African in your, in, your, in your office, definitely, definitely let it be, take advantage of that week and encourage all your colleagues to come out with you and go try something new. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to that. Um, second generation Africans, mm -hmm. they, some of them don't eat African food. Are you guys packaging the food in such a way for it to be more appealing? I guess that's one of the uh, projects for the future. And we've already started uh, presenting the food in a much different way. Okay. Uh, when you come to our events, uh, the different chefs, you know, I'll tell you, a lot of the chefs are now very different in, in the way they're packaging their, their food. So I think it, it's already here. It's already there. People are already doing it. They just need to make it more available to people. Or, or rather, people need to be more aware of it. 
Yeah. So if you come out to uh, to our kickoff event, which is the Edible Bazaar benefit, mm -hmm. you're gonna have different restaurants and chefs from pretty much everywhere, and you're gonna have great African food presented in a very uh, modern way, uh, in quotes, modern way, and uh, should be fun. Okay. Um, are you facing any challenges? right now and if so especially in terms of getting ingredients you know like african ingredients to prepare the meals i think i think the distribution of african ingredients so far is has been quite good you know there are enough people in that space that bring food into the country okay. so i i think i think that distribution is fine you know that's not it's not so much it's not i'll say it's pretty okay yeah it's pretty fine okay so for the viewers who want to come to Restaurant Week, please tell them how they can do so. Go on our website, go on NYARW, which is a short form for New York African Restaurant Week, NYARW.com. You can get a list of all the different restaurants. And when you get to the restaurants, just make sure you ask for the Restaurant Week uh, menu. Uh, once you ask for the Restaurant Week menu, you automatically get 10% off your, of, your, uh, of your check at the end of the night. So in, so in addition to the great deal you're getting, you are, you're still going to get a discount on it. So definitely go invite your friends. Uh, if you belong to an organization, definitely tell them to come take advantage of that week. Um, so and, uh, go on our website. All the details are there. It's a three-course meal at most of the restaurants and should be fun. Okay, so I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you, thank you. And also the Edible Bazaar Benefit Tuesday, um, April 29th at okay. Suite 36. That's in the city? That's in the city. It's actually seven blocks from here. Okay. And um, it's going to be from 6.30 to midnight. So it's going to be food, music, dancing, networking. So it's going to be a celebration of the African cuisine and culture, really. So you absolutely. I know you're going to be there. So Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thanks to you guys at Sahara. You know, we've been trying to do this for a while and we've had some scheduling conflicts, but we eventually got it done and... Thank you, guys. Amen to that. Yeah. Once again, thank you for joining Thanks for team. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Next up is a viral feed segment. This week, we show you videos of kitchen mistakes and chef mishaps. Hope you enjoy. Chill, they don't talk that chicken. I'll be right back. Shit. Chill, they don't talk that chicken. I'll be right back. Shit. So much light in this window lay. Don't wake me up. Oh, ever, never, never. Oh. Now, as I consume this delicious mountain of oatmeal and spinach soup, I declare warfare on you sneaky idiots posing as cholesterol and calories, planning to add inches to my waist overnight. I give you my Tyson blow. I say die. I command you to die. I bind you. I cast you. I demoralize your calorific powers. I request nutrition and nutrition only from this mountain of oatmeal. Any confused portion of this food intending to pretend as if you don't oh, you are in China. Well, folks, that's the show for today. Remember, if you have any videos you would like to share with us, send us an email at insidethediaspora at gmail.com. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter with the handle Inside Diaspora. You can also stream us now on Roku. I want to say thank you for watching, and please join me next time as I uncover more stories inside the diaspora.